Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay. Welcome to Inside the Head, where we dive into all things sewing with style and budget in mind. This month I'm bringing you 30 days of festive fashion sewing, where each day I'm sharing a new garment sewing project idea to inspire your holiday wardrobe. No matter your personal style, whether you're casual or glam or edgy, join me as we add a touch of handmade magic to this season's celebrations. Let's dive into today's project, which is a fashion fabulous tiered skirt and a bonus dress. To me, nothing says special occasion more than ruffles and gathers too. Something about how the fabric shapes the garment, having us all look like little cupcakes, just screams a celebration to me. There are lots of variations of gathered garments since you can pretty much add ruffles anywhere. For a holiday specific look, I think the best use of gathers is in the skirt. And why do one gathered tier when you can do so many? As I was preparing for today's video, I also found a ruffled dress that I loved. So you all are getting a two for one today. I just couldn't resist. For my ready to wear inspiration, I did go a little bit classic and traditional, but with a sprinkle of girly and frilly. Let's take a look at the ready to wear inspiration that I found. All right, let's talk about this Antonio Milani Maya plaid high rise tiered A line midi skirt from Dillard's. $179. Still way too expensive, in my opinion. It has the skirt features taffeta fabrication. We'll talk about that in a second. A line silhouette, tiered skirt, midi length, lined, straight hemline, concealed back zipper closure, polyester, and dry clean only, supposedly. Um, but you can see for obvious reasons why I chose this for the, for this series. It is such a really cute take on the holidays, in my opinion. This does not have to be super dressy. She's wearing it with heels, but you definitely, definitely do not have to do that. I think you can wear it with a sweatshirt and sneakers just as easily as she has pulled off this look. You could also wear it with a sparkly top and a cute little handbag and a sandal and go to like a real big party. It's one of those things that you can dress up or down in a million different ways. But it looks like it has this um, kind of like concealed waistband, either that or this entire midriff piece is they've treated it like a waistband and this whole part is lined. And then below that, we have our three tiers, one, two, three. These are all different lengths. I want to point that out. Um, I think that's what gives it, uh, the proportions seem to look better whenever they're three different lengths. Maybe it makes her look taller too. Here's the back. Nothing special about the back. Hold on, there we go a very poorly installed invisible zipper. I mean, come on, like I, I granted it is matched, right? The, the plaids do match going across, but they couldn't have used like an invisible zipper foot that got closer than that. Um, also, you know, the fitting is an issue. It's clearly very ill fitting, but it also looks like all of these are like baby hemmed. Can you see that right there? You have the waistband cut on grain right? And then all of these are cut on the bias. I think that's a really, really clever way to kind of break it all up a little bit and give the tiers like even a little bit more movement. Okay. And the pattern I chose is, <laughs> it's Tillery again. Now I know we talked about this uh, earlier in the series, but I mean, it is pretty much a dead ringer for the inspiration, except for the waistband. This one has an elastic waist. So you would have to remove the waistband and add either like a, a really, I don't know if this is considered like a really wide waistband or you add this midriff piece before you add on your first tier. And I also kind of covered this one a lot. So I wanted to give you guys another option because we've kind of seen this one and I get that and it's not perfect. This next one's not perfect either, but it is a really, really cool option. And that is Vogue 1957. Okay. So it's a lot, right? But tell me that wouldn't be the cutest in this red um, plaid fabric. I mean, 
freaking adorable. Um, it does have, obviously, its differences, um, but for the most part, it's, I mean, it's ruffly, it's dramatic, you know, it does have a dedicated waistband, which, not elastic in other words, which I really think makes it look more refined um, and high-end. And I just think showing up, and especially this version, if you can go for it, or even this version, if this one's too far out of your comfort zone, I don't know. I just think it would be the most fun, fun party skirt ever. Even more so than the inspiration, I think. But here they are. So we're going to be using a fabric made out of taffeta. So it's going to give more volume than not. Um, so it will look a more, a little bit more like this one. Um, which I really, I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all. I mean, look how freaking cool she looks. Um, the fitting on this one's not my favorite for obvious reasons, but it just looks like the rough, it comes down like this, which is fine. And then the ruffle goes meow. So it's like double cupcakes. It's like cupcake here. It's like a tiered um, wedding cake. And we don't want that. We want it to kind of flow naturally. So you're not getting this bubble and then also this bubble. So I would adjust this piece if it were me. Um, if this is a rectangle and you gather up this top part, well, not a rectangle, but whatever shape this is, do, 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 and then straight across here, gather up this. If this is straight up and down right here, angle it out. Um, and I think you'll have better success with it looking a little bit more blended there. Real quickly, I wanted to see what the fabric requirements are. Yeah, it's a lot, um, especially for the little double tiered one. Um, five and five eighths for the largest size, um, but even the smallest size is still five yards of fabric. You would need even more if you wanted to cut this on the bias. So I would recommend cutting this part on the bias um, and then cutting this on the straight grain. It's already going to have some bias parts to it, possibly. Again, I have to see the pattern to see if the ruffle is a big rectangle that you attach to this or if it has a curve to it. I don't know. If you've ever made this pattern, let me know in the comment section below what the pattern pieces look like. Okay, and for fabric, I have a couple of options because I was trying to be mindful of budget knowing that we have five yards of this to buy. There were red taffeta tartan plaids like this one, but they were in like, you know, $20, $30 price point. And I just, we don't need to be spending the same amount of money that this costs retail in order to make that. We can do a really cool version, um, way, way, way cheaper. So I did find this red and green and blue and yellow um, taffeta fabric on Etsy, sold by H&T Fabrics. You order it by the yard. So it's $12.99 a yard. Um, so 50, 60 bucks instead of a hundred and something. Um, it's not exact because it has the blue in it as well, but I think it still looks holiday, but this is the plaid taffeta version. And then if you wanted something a little bit more understated because the skirt is so much, I found this navy bow taffeta fabric by So Sweet at Joanne currently for $14.99 a yard, but I think we can get a better deal on that if we wait a little bit. But I just, I mean, bows are like really having a moment right now. They're kind of like everywhere. Um, this one you can tell is like, I don't know if it's embroidered or what, but it's definitely like textured and raised. It's also navy on black, which I think it's navy on black. It might be blue on navy, um, but it's just more subtle, right? Like it's not screaming holiday. It's not screaming big, big, big print plus big, big, big skirt. You know what I mean? So it might be a little bit more understated um even considering the skirt being just as crazy as it is da, 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 da. deep navy color so it's blue on navy um 100 polyester machine washed iron line dried 55 inches wide so yeah you would just need to get your five yards of this um and I, I think that that would be really, really cute as well. Definitely like a diversion from our inspiration. But you can tell we were inspired. <laughs> okay, and for the dress that I just absolutely had to include, this one is the Black Watch Kenzo dress. How cute is that? Okay, it's still got its little tears and its ruffles and having its moment. This one's from Tuckernuck. Um, $148, which... 
is still expensive, but it doesn't have to be. Um, this one has kind of like a yoke situation. And then we've got one, two, three tiers. We've got a little puff sleeve. And then you can see it's like smocked here at the wrist. Um, and it's seven eighths long on her. I don't know if it's because she just has really long arms, but I think it's supposed to be this is at the wrist and then that this part hangs down a little bit or somewhere in the middle of that. Um, but the back has a yoke with a gather here. Then it skips the first tier. Can you see that? The back is all one piece until we get to the second tier. But this is feminine flutter smocked cuffs, V neckline, loose empire waist, um, flattering flirty, pair with flats or dress it up with heels and statement earrings for holiday festivities. Okay, so the pattern for this one is McCall's 8090. I mean, pretty darn close, right? If we look back at the Tucker Nook version, it has that little half ruffle thing that this one has where it stops halfway. Um, theirs just happens to be, I think this seam happens to be a little further out maybe, or is it just curved? Oh yeah, it is further out. Theirs goes into the armpit. It goes into the arm somewhere. Hold on. Yeah, theirs is going into the arm side where ours comes straight up like this. Minor, minor difference. No one's ever going to know. But it still has the little collar with the little yoke detail here. Gathers here. All of this is one piece. And then you have your second tier and your third tier. It's almost exactly, exactly like this one. And then for the sleeve, you can, you can leave the sleeve cap as it is. Or you can ruffle it by making the sleeve cap wider than the arm's eye. And then for the little elasticized cuff, you would just extend this down to wherever your wrist is and then add shearing like, I don't know, three, four inches above it. But yeah, you would just add that to this extended sleeve and you would want to lean into the volume of this sleeve too. So that you get a nice, pretty, like puffy sleeve right? Nice, pretty puffy sleeve here. Okay. And then for fabric on this one, I saw that it's poly span. And then I zoomed in on this and I was like, that's twill. Like I'm looking at it and I'm seeing the diagonal, the diagonal weave. Like it's got to be twill weave Either way, this is what I found. This is a tartan checkered fabric, navy green, blah, blah, blah. It is a poly rayon. So not spandex, meaning it doesn't have like that stretch quality to it, but we really don't need that because it's such an oversized dress anyways. Um, and then if you look at this one, it has those same diagonal lines in it. So they're not calling it twill, but it might actually be twill just from looking at it with the naked eye. Um, but it does have that really pretty blue and green and black and that's it. Here's some video of it. You can get an idea of the drape. I think it would be perfect for a little gathered skirt dress, a tiered skirt dress. It's $20 a yard. I'm sorry, $20 a meter. So you're going to get like a little bit more than a yard out of every one. The back of the envelope says that we need Let's just call it A. I mean, let's just call it B since B has the longer sleeve, even though we're not doing all that frilly stuff. Um, so B, you would need two and a half yards roughly um, for the largest size. Actually, all sizes, you would need two and a half yards. Um, did it say how wide it is? 145 centimeters. Hold on. So it's 57 inches wide. So even a little bit wider than what you're used to. Um, so that's good. So yeah, I think you could definitely get away with two and a half yards for sure. So what would that be? 20, 40, 50 bucks. That seems totally reasonable for such a cute little number. Cheaper than ready to wear. Um, better made, better fitting, all the things. Thank you all so much for joining me for today's festive project. I hope recreating this tiered skirt and or dress sparks some inspiration for your holiday sewing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's project where we will be recreating a pussy bow blouse you are going to love. I can't wait to see you back here for more 30 days of festive fashion sewing. See you all soon. Bye.